You're watching the Exynos 2100 versus the Snapdragon 888 Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra benchmark test. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. So we've got the Snapdragon 888 processor on the left and the Exynos 2100 processor on the right. Both are Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultras, and we're going to be running three different benchmark tests. We're going to be using Antutu, Geekbench 5, and 3 d Mark, And both phones are pretty much at about 100%, give or take 1%. So you can see what the processes are clocked at on each of them. And here's the battery temperatures on both of them. And before we start, let's take a temperature test on both of them to see what they are at idle. So as is, the Exynos 2100 seems to be running a little bit hotter than the Snapdragon 888. All right, let's go ahead and start the first test. Alright, so the Exynos 2100 finished first and it scored 639,629. Let's check the temperature. It's at about 44, almost 45 degrees. Now the Snapdragon finished next and it scored 663,635. And the temperature on this one is at about 41.4, almost 42 degrees Celsius. Now as far as battery percentage goes, the Snapdragon is at 95%, while the Exynos 2100 is at 93%. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's go ahead and run a stress test. So here are the results. Surprisingly, the Snapdragon was running about three to four degrees hotter than the Exynos processor during the stress test. So the CPU performance on the Exynos 2100 processor is much higher compared to the Snapdragon 888 processor. As far as battery loss, it seems to be about even. Now we're gonna run the Geekbench 5 benchmark test. So the Exynos 2100 finishes first with a score of 621 on the single core and 2693 on the multi-core. The Snapdragon scores 611 on the single core and 2611 on the multi-core. As far as temperature goes, we got about 42 degrees on the Exynos and about 41 degrees on the Snapdragon. and battery drain seems to be about even. All right, now we're gonna run the 3D Mark benchmark test. So the Snapdragon scored 5,148 and the Exynos scored 3,311. So on this test, the Snapdragon seems to do much better. As far as temperature goes, we got about 41 degrees on the Exynos and about 42 degrees, almost 43 degrees on the Snapdragon. The frame rate was about 14 frames per second to 42 frames per second on the Snapdragon compared to 11 frames per second to 25 frames per second on the Exynos. Now we're going to go ahead and run the stress test. So 
So about 60% through the Snapdragon gave an error on the stress test, so I'm going to run it again. All right, so the tests are done. And here are the results. For the Snapdragon, the best loop score was 4,519 compared to 3,297 on the Exynos. The lowest loop score is 3,436 on the Snapdragon compared to 3,273 on the Exynos. As far as stability, the Snapdragon only scored 76%. However, the Exynos is at a whopping 99.3%. All right, as far as temperatures go, we got about 43, almost 44 degrees Celsius on the Exynos. And we got about 42.7 degrees Celsius on the Snapdragon. As far as battery life goes, they're pretty much even on both of them. Now for each of the loops or each time the test was run, we have the scores listed here. So for the first one on the Snapdragon was 4,519, but after that there was a significant drop. On the Exynos it was 3,292, but it seemed to be pretty consistent all throughout. So the first time the test was run, the Snapdragon was much faster, but then for every test after that, it slowed down. The Exynos was slower at the start, but it stayed consistent on every loop after that. As far as frame rates go, on the Snapdragon it was 14 frames per second to 39 frames per second. On the Exynos it was 11 frames per second to 24 frames per second. So from the looks of it, the Snapdragon was faster in some areas, but as far as long-term goes, it would slow down. However, the Exynos was running much more stable compared to the Snapdragon. And as far as the heat goes on the processor, the Exynos seemed to be handling that much better compared to the Snapdragon. Also on 3D Mark, the first time I ran the stress test, the Snapdragon crashed. Now, I don't know if that was because the processor was too hot or if the app just crashed, but I had to rerun the test. So at the end of the day, I think I'll go with the Exynos 2100 since it seems to be more stable and consistent throughout. And as far as heat goes, it doesn't seem to get as hot as the Snapdragon does during the tests. And keep in mind the processor temperatures are different than the temperatures we take on the outside of the phone. So the temperatures on the outside of the phone might be very similar, but as far as the temperatures on the processors during the benchmark tests, the Snapdragon seem to be running hotter. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which one would you guys choose and why? I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.